But during a time when a lot of newspapers are making big cuts, a new paper is hoping to attract customers in Brandon. The Brandon Valley Journal just celebrated its first birthday. Couple Lines' Casey Wannerberg reads into why anyone would want to start a print newspaper in this online age in tonight's Your Money Matters. Extra! Please grab young Baron! During the mid 1900s, almost everyone wanted to get their hands on the week's news. If we didn't report the news, how would anybody know what it was? Jamie Holt doesn't believe that's old news. She's tracking down stories for this week's Brandon Valley Journal. With around a dozen years of experience working at papers, she has a passion for news. Facebook won't give it to you. Um, some people, you know, there's speculation. There's, uh, it's not uh, the most reliable source. Holt's career choice definitely hasn't been all black and white lately. She's worked for two papers that have shut down. I felt that very hard. Around a year ago, Holt started writing for a new newspaper, the Brandon Valley Journal. A group of area investors decided to take a chance on what some call a dying industry. I think every community needs their own newspaper. Uh, how else are we going to record the day to day happenings? Um, it seems silly, but. A pothole on 4th Avenue is important to the people that live here. Across the nation, many big newspapers are having to make big cuts. But in small communities, papers are often still thriving. The journal hopes to follow that trend. Daily newspapers, they are struggling. I get it. But they're in the competition um, to be the first to be on scene of whatever big event is going on. But they're not in our weekly communities covering the little day-to-day -day things, the Girl Scouts selling cookies. Day-to-day -day happenings that this reporter hopes extra, extra, read all about it. People will still want to read all about. I think the Community Weekly especially will never, there's always going to be an audience of readers for that. With Your Money Matters, I'm Casey Wannenberg. Overall, the number of people who read newspapers has dropped dramatically over the past decade. In fact, an industry analysis finds that weekday print circulation decreased more than 10% from 2016 to 2017.